Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use um, a medium sized brush, not a massive brush, just one that I can start to knock the trees in. So I'm going to start to put some of this tree area in the background here. I'll probably get some of the reflection of the boat in, probably the bottom of the boat, maybe a few of the little figures. Um, and perhaps some of this ancillary stuff around the buildings and then we'll start on the water. Okay, so here we go. So the colours that I'm going to use as well, by the way, I'm going to try and use um, not too many colours. So I'm going to use black. All right, if you want to put these out while I just mentioned them, I'm going to use black. I'm going to use um, phthalo blue. I'm going to use um, uh, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, white and possibly a little bit of um, rose. Okay, so those are the colours that I'm going to use. All right, nothing else. All right, can you say again, please, Stuart? Uh, so let me black. say those again. Yeah. So it's black. Okay, yeah. I'm going to yeah. use phthalo blue. Mm -hmm. uh, yellow ochre. Yeah. Uh, uh, cadmium yellow. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. white. Yeah. And a little bit of rose, like a pinky rose colour. Okay. If you don't have that, you could just use like a Lysrian with some white in it or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. Right. Okay, let me start then. Thank so, you. I'm going to take a little bit of the black, a little bit of the phthalo blue, and a bit of the ochre in it, and a little bit of the yellow, to mix up sort of a very dark green. A bit more blue. What is that? Very... Sorry? What was that, Stuart? Black? Okay. I'm, using, I'm using some yellows into my black and a bit of blue in there as well to make a very, very dark green. Okay, and again, if you're doing this in watercolour, you're going to want to do this fairly lightly. It's a very, very light wash, not as dark as I'm about to put it on. Okay. So this is a nice dark green that I'm making. And it's going to look black on the video, but it's not. Trust me, it is green. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I'm going to start to block in some of my tree line. And I'm not really going to worry about leaving any little masks and stuff. I'm going to put all that in. I might just leave some indications of where they're going to come, but I might put those in at the end. Coming around my little building chimneys. No water involved at all? Um, very minimal water because um, I don't want the paint running all the way down to the floor. <laughs> I'm trying to control it a little bit more this week. So it's, it's thicker paint. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a big gloopy bit on my paintbrush. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah so it's, it's not, not watery by any means. All right, it's pretty much the paint out of the tube um, just mixed together on my Stay Wet palette. That's pretty much all I've done. Okay, so um, just cutting in around these buildings a little bit, just to get some shape in there. Mine's and again, a really weird colour green. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it doesn't have to be really green. It's just it needs to be dark. Um, that's that's the important thing. It's the tone that's that's the key really. And I'm purposely not changing the colour at the moment. I'm keeping it all the same, the same tone, same colour just for simplicity, um, and into this, we're gonna paint other things afterwards, all right? So don't worry about it all being just one color at the moment, just keep it nice and simple, and then we'll, we'll make it a bit more complex and we'll, we'll add different colors and stuff afterwards. Okay, so this is really just about establishing the core areas of the painting, um, bringing out the drawing a little bit, making sure we've got all the main shapes in the right place, before we start worrying about changes in tone and color and all the rest of it. So I'm just bringing that down to my little beach line. So there we go. Then this dark continues up the back of this, um, the, the sort of little cabin where the, the little man is. So I've got a tree going up there. And my tree line continues down the back of the boat along towards the, um, I'm guessing is a, like a dock or the, or where a lot of the, actually I think it's um, the Hamble Sailing Clubs down this end if I remember rightly. Someone might be able to correct me on that, but I think that's what it is down there. Um, and Hamble Common as well, right at the end. 
So there we go. So I'm just popping in these greens all the way across. Not really worrying about back here getting too much lighter. It's just that the paint's running out of my paintbrush. That's why it's getting lighter. Um, so there we go. So that's the first little bit. Right, the next bit I'm going to put in is I'm going to take the same green colour I've just used here. I'm going to put more phthalo blue in it and a little bit of white because it's slightly lighter, this shadow here, than this. All right, it's not lots lighter, but it's a little bit lighter and it's tiny bit bluer. Okay, so I'm taking more phthalo blue, pinked a bit more yellow in it, so yellow ochre and <clears throat> cadmium yellow. And I may even put just a teeny bit of the pink in it as well because I need a teeny bit of redness to knock some of the green out. Just to stop it being quite so green. I You've let the pole out. Sorry? You've left the pole out on the boat. This yeah. bit? That bit, yeah. you mean? Oh, you can yeah, you, all right, okay. That's Couldn't all going to go in it. afterwards. I'll put all those little details in afterwards. So this, all I'm trying to do here now is just really just establish all of my nice darks. So this is, you probably can't see this on the video at the moment because the camera can't equate for all this whiteness um, on the rest of the board. So this colour and this colour probably look identical to you at the moment. I don't know if it does or not. But yep, once I've filled in the rest of the painting, these colours will be different. All right, so trust me. You just have to take it on a little bit of trust at the moment. It's different. Um, not massively different, I grant you. But there is a difference there, okay? It's a bit subtle, but um, we'll, uh, we'll get there in a bit. Right, so let's just get some of this uh, reflection in. Yeah, I'm sorry, Stuart, I can't keep up. So can you just briefly tell me what colours are in that mix you're using now? So this one is exactly the same mixture as the green yeah. that I've used in the background there. And all I've done is I've put a little bit more phthalo blue. Okay. And I've put some um, yellow in it, obviously, to make it go greeny. And yeah. then I put some of the pink colour in it. Okay. Okay? Thank you. That's all I, yeah, that's all thank I you. Yeah, right. Stuart, if... If we haven't got Salo blue, I've just put ultramarine in it. Is that all right? Uh, yeah, you can just use ultramarine as a substitute. That's fine. Um, yeah. It's just not quite as dark as Salo blue. So um, you, know, just pop a, you could just pop a little bit of black in there or something if it's not quite dark enough. Okay. All right. So all I've done now is I've just put a teensy bit more white in that colour. Just to um, bring a little bit of variation into this back area. Okay, because the shadow, as it kind of goes around the boat, it gets a little bit lighter back here, okay? Right, does everyone want a few minutes just to do that bit? Yes, yeah. yeah. hold fire for a second yes, while you please. catch up? Yep. Yeah. Yes, okay, please. Okay, let's give you, let me give you five minutes or so just to do that bit then, before I go on. Anybody got any questions? Mm -hmm. No, everybody okay? Fine. Good, good. I'll have a sup of my drink then while you just... Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? No talking. Normally, if no, Friday no morning. No talking, is... just painting. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey. Well, there's no cake to go around either, is there? Which is a bit drastic. No, no. <laughs> we should have hot cross buns today, shouldn't we? We need some sort of virtual coffee and cake service, don't we? We Someone do, yeah. They make a million. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my sleigh downstairs. <laughs> I've ordered get my upstairs. coffee for 11 o'clock well tea for 11 o'clock oh have you? right yeah. I need to get on some of that game I have to have a word with Joe and get her to make me one yeah <laughs> she'll probably tell me to I, bugger off I didn't do any drawing <laughs> so I'm a bit behind everybody don't worry Joe we're, we're yeah. holding fire for a minute so you just you know I know you're pretty quick at scribbling it down so um as I said, if you, if you really get lost behind, then um, I, I am videoing this as usual. So I will put it online so you can always have another go or, you know, later on, um, maybe tomorrow, you can always start again if you don't like what you've done today. Um, I mean, it's a little bit of a difficult format, obviously, because normally in a class, you know, I can kind of come around and I can sort of gauge how everybody's doing. But because I can't really see any of you that well, 
um, I'm kind of having to sort of, it's like almost yeah. like painting, you know, blind as it were. So, mm. you know, if, if you need me to slow down then just say, or, you know, I'm more than happy for you to just interject, it's fine. Um, Stuart, with um, me only having watercolour, um, yeah. will I, um, will this be all right using my, my greens? I'm mixing something quite dark, but it's not quite as dark as yours yet. So what I would do, just make sure when you put your green down, Penny, is just put plenty of water in it. Yeah. So even though you mix a dark green, by putting more water, it's almost the equivalent of me putting white in the, um, in the, in the acrylic. Yeah. Okay, so, you, so by putting lots of water in it, you're making it very thin. So you're putting down a light wash rather than a dark wash. Okay. 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 And the only reason I say that at the moment is because with watercolour, it's incredibly sensitive to um, getting too dark too early. Right. So if you do put down a really dark like I have here yes. um, in watercolour and then you come back with your sky or you, you know, you want to okay, um, like adjust anything. It's very, very difficult to do that. You know, right. you can't carve in like I'm going to show you when I put the sky in. You can't okay. do that with watercolour so easily. Okay. You can with dark, but not with lights, if you see what I mean. So I would just recommend keeping it quite light for the moment because we haven't even got the sky in yet. So um, okay. yeah, you, don't want to, you don't want to lose all your nice lights, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. I think my watercolour's gone a bit too dark already then. Right, okay. Well, I mean, if it's still damp, then blot it off. That's the thing to do. If, yeah, it, it... if it's not dried yet, then just give it a little blot off just to stop it getting too dark too early, all right? Right. It's not wrong to go dark early. It's just that if you're not confident and you don't know that those marks are in the right place, yeah. then you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. If you know the marks are in the right place and the colour's right, then you know you can go as dark as you like. Okay. But it's all about confidence. And if you're not confident, then go lighter. Okay. okay. <laughs> How's everyone getting on? You all okay? Yeah. 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 Apart from chasing after tops of paint, hot paint. Oh, are you? <laughs> They're falling on the floor, are they? Yes. <laughs> Is everyone happy for me to do a little bit more, or do you want a few more minutes? Yeah, do a little bit more then. Yeah. yeah. A little bit more. Okay. Right, here we go then. Right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to just carry on filling in a few more of these darks. So I'm going to try and get the bottom of my boat in here because that's incredibly dark. And again, the tone of the the tone of the boat and the tone of the shadow are very similar, except this is a warm dark and this is a cool dark. Does everyone know what I mean by the difference? Mm. Yeah. Does everyone kind of understand? So this is more orangey, sort of rusty dark, like browny darks. This yeah. is more sort of bluey, greeny darks. Right. Yeah. So when yeah. I put this mm -hmm. in, it's going to be a bit more orangey than the, um, than the water would be. Okay. So that's the intention. So I'm going to take some black. Okay, and into that I'm going to put some ochre. And I'm going to use a little bit of the red again. Actually, I've lied. I'm going to actually put a little bit of cadmium red rather than the pinky red. So if you've got a cadmium red, do that. Because it needs to be a warmer red than the, than the rose red. Is vermilion any kept good? Yeah, vermilion would be fine. That's a warm red. Yeah. I've got crimson. It's just a, uh, crimson will be okay. It's a little bit on the cool side for me. Um, if you've got a if you've got a warmer red, it would be better. But if you haven't, then just use crimson. It's better than nothing. Right now, look here. So I'm going to pop this right on the edge of where that shadow of the water and the brown is. Now you might not be able to see the, any difference, but this is a very warm dark, this is a very cool dark. Mm -hmm. And once we've painted the whole painting, this will become a lot more obvious. Okay, so it will, look, it, will, it will appear as being browner than what it is at the moment. The only reason you can't see it very clearly is because we've got too much white within the painting. Okay, but once we've lost all our white, we'll be able to see um, these browns a bit clearer. Mm -hmm. Right, and just adjusting the angle of the bottle of the boat because you went a little bit too steep there so let's just get that in there okay so that comes along and then the next part is i'm going to take a tint a bit more black and a bit more blue into that exact same color i'm not changing the color i'm just putting a bit more black and blue in it and i'm going to pop in the um 
I'm guessing it must be like a mono hole, this little ferry, because it looks like there's a there's something very um, like a hole or a gap in here. So I'm just going to pop that in. Almost like a catamaran. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bit where you step onto. It's just a platform, really. Mm. This, yeah, that's the platform, but I'm talking about this bit that's kind of under the platform. So I'm guessing that this is one bit of the hole and there's another bit of hole there. And then, I don't know. <laughs> it's all a bit technical. Who cares? We're just painting it. <laughs> right, okay. So now, um, and I've got the angle of that slightly wrong. So let me just change that a little bit. That needs to come down that way a touch. There we go. Okay. So now, any other little darks that we can pop in? So again, I'm going to take exactly the same colour and I'm going to put a little bit of that in a smaller brush. So this is the same brownie sort of brownie dark colour. And I'm just going to pop a little bit in, in the here because this is like the doorway and there's um, quite a bit of dark in there. Uh, there are... Well, the little figures are dark. I'm not going to worry about the figures at the moment. Uh, well, well, we'll pop a little bit on the, a little bit of colour on there, just for the bodies, because so, they're kind of in silhouette. Some of them, so let's do that. Just some shapes there. Just remembering not to go too low into the um, the actual pink of where the pink's going to come. There's another little figure there. We'll have a little one over here. There we go. So let's just clean that brush off. Right now, the next thing I'm going to do is establish um, some of the more prominent colours. So I'm going to try and get in the pink of the boat. Okay, I'm going to put in some, um, some colour for the sky and then I'm going to establish some colour for the water. And that then will then... Um, fix the main the main colors of the painting and then we could just finish off by popping a few of those colors of different tones into the houses and then we've got pretty much everything covered then all right is that okay with everyone yeah yep. Deep, deeper. right so first thing then is i'm going to take some of that rose, <laughs> and this is just me out of this tube i'm not putting any white or any other colors in it <clears throat> it's just a pinky a very pinky color and I'm going to use this just to establish, oops, a bit wet, just to establish my pinky colour within the boat. And this is probably a little bit too pink, but never mind. It might knock it down afterwards. And I'm just trying to pay attention to the the drawing, make sure the shape's roughly right. So the bow comes round. It's a little bit too transparent. This pink. I'm going to need to dot. Um, put a little bit of white in it at some point to get a bit more opaqueness so that kind of comes down the side of the boat now back here obviously it is lighter but I'm not going to worry about making it lighter for the moment so what I'm trying to do today as best I can is keep the painting process simple all right so rather than mixing lots and lots of different tones and try and put them down all in one go i thought i'd try and see if it works to um simplify the process a little bit okay because sometimes when we say well you've got to then step that down and do this and do that it all gets a little bit complicated so i'm just trying to um keep a little bit simpler right so the Oh, I need a bit more paint. So this pinkiness thing comes up the front here. So I'll put a stroke of that in. And then it has a, a front edge, which is here, which kind of comes back and down. And then these, we can just fill all this shape in. So effectively, I'm just trying to paint it as one shape to start off with. Okay, so there we go. So that's one side of the boat. And then I'll pop in, I will then pop in the right hand side here. 
So this again has some shape which curves over, comes down the front, all the way down to where the um, passengers get on. It kind of comes in there, in there. So this, this, um, this line here has to follow the perspective of the boat because it's kind of going back that way. Okay, now some of you, when I noticed your drawings um, at the beginning of the class, and I was saying you've perhaps drawn your boat a little bit in profile, what that basically means is, is that you haven't quite got the, um, the boat to feel like it's going away from or, or coming towards us. You sort of drawn it as though it's side on, um, which isn't a problem. You know, that's just artistic license in a way. But, you know, if, if, you, if you were intending to draw it coming towards us and ended up drawing it side on, then that is a problem because obviously you were trying to do one thing but weren't able to. So um, all you would need to do is you have to find the perspective of the boat. So what that basically means is you have to find the direction that the boat is actually going in, which is obviously this way towards us. So because the bottom of the boat where it's meeting the water is obviously below our feet. So we're assuming we're standing up here somewhere. So our eye level is roughly through this area here, isn't it? Because we can't really see on top of that roof. Yeah, does everyone agree? We can't see on top of that roof and we can't see on top of that roof. And we can't see any of the top of this roof. But we can see the top of this thing here, which is like the step bit. So we know that's below our eye level and we know that's above our eye level. Okay, so our eye level is somewhere in the middle here. Does that make sense to everyone? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So as you're drawing it, what you're aiming to do is you're aiming for the boat, depending on obviously the way that it's the boat is orientated. So if the boat was even more twisted towards us like this, then this would be even steeper. Does everybody get the, the idea, yeah? Because mm -hmm. it's twisted towards us, so it's going up to our eye level much, much sharper. When it's turned more like this, or more towards the side, those lines are going out over here somewhere, okay? Now, some of you have drawn it so your boat, this part of the boat, is pretty much level. And by it being level, it, it, just, it just makes it feel like the boat's side on as opposed to coming towards us. And that's all that's happened, all right? So um, let's not dwell on that too much, but I just thought it was a point that needed making. Um, so let's get the rest of this red in. Okay. Was that a question from someone? Um, well that, that was my... <laughs> That was you, Penny, was it? All right, well, it okay. Michael asking me how it was going. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm telling you, you're getting, you're getting a lecture about boring perspective. <laughs> Stuart? Horrible, horrible P word. Yes, Anne, yeah. Um, sorry, how did you make up your pink again? Sorry, say again? How did you make up your pink? Um, I bought one of these lovely tubes. Is it pink? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called permanent rose. Oh, so it's, yeah. it's like um, I don't know what it's got in it. It doesn't actually say, um, but it's like um, uh, a crimson, or it's uh, like um, crimson with, with white in it, basically. Yeah. But it's a little bit more transparent than than I would like. So I am have to, I will have to give this another coat because it's too, it's too, um, it's a bit streaky and not quite giving me the coverage that I want. But that's fine. Right, so let's, let's get a little bit more of this detail in here. Making a very light colour now, and this is for the people that are doing acrylics for oils, I'm making a light colour. I'm not going to start from neat colour, I'm going to start from white on my palette. Does everyone understand what I mean by that? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm putting some white out on my palette, and then into that I'm going to put a little bit of phthalo blue, and I mean a teeny bit of phthalo blue, like, I don't know if you can see that on my brush, but there's a, there's a tiny little spot of phthalo blue in there, and that's very, very powerful. It will tint that white incredibly quickly. Okay, so you don't need much of it. So let's start with that. So it's just phthalo blue and some white, and we'll see how we get on with this first. So I'm gonna to start to block in some of my sky in around these trees. 
and we can cut into the trees if we want to and cut them back a bit break up the edge there we go so coming all the way through and then we've got a nice light a bit in there I'm trying to give the brush marks a little bit of direction so i want a bit of a swoop to my sky so over here i'm going to keep it very light over here it's going to have a bit more color in it so a bit more blue up there now i'm going to take a teensy teensy bit of uh, black now and pop that into the same the same um <clears throat> color so it's now going to make it go slightly slightly gray all right so it's not darkened it a lot but just made it a bit grayer so we'll just pop a little bit of this gray in here as well work the colors together a bit so there we go get that going around there i'm not perfectly <laughs> trying to paint a particular cloud i just want a bit of variation in the sky that's all i'm trying to do here so it's not really a um it's not really a sky painting as such it's just we've got to have a sky if we're going to have um this lower line um horizon level so, so let's just work that down into there a little bit now wash my brush out so i need a really clean color now so now i'm going to make a new clean mix and i'm going to take some white again so just some white and into that white i'm going to put a teensy bit of um yellow ochre just a tiny bit of yellow ochre and i may warm that up even a little bit more and put a teeny bit of the um the rose in it the pinky color mm. just a tiny bit all right i don't want it to be i'm not trying to paint a sunset here i just want i just want um a little bit more warmth in my sky so we've got a little bit of a warmer um light color so there we go so a bit in there work that up obviously this is going to need painting back into because this is still a bit too opaque but that's fine yeah thanks lovely get those colors in there perhaps a little bit over here a little bit down by the trees on this side a little bit down there just in places okay right so that's my sky first wash in now do you want a minute to do that and then we'll do the water yes please okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are those guys going now, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Haven't started yet. I'm still trying to do the pink fairy. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, 
very stormy day on the handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a very brooding sky over here. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Very hard edges as well. Right, is everybody ready for me to crack on with the water? Or are you still? Yeah, crack on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As I said, if you if you are getting behind, then um, the video will, can obviously help you out when you when you rewatch it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some um, of the greeny colour that I used for the trees, so which was, just to refresh your memory, it was the black and a bit of phthalo blue um, together with some yellow, and I'm going to put lots more white in that to mix me up a sort of, um, uh, almost like a gunmetal grey, but it's a bit more bluey than that. Okay, so I'm going to start to use this as my um uh, the color that i'm going to use for the water obviously the water is going to have various colors in it but just as a base color this is going to be the sort of thing i'm talking about okay so it's kind of a bluey gray type color all right and again i'm not going to worry too much about any variation or um where obviously some of the water is lighter than other bits of the water I'm just going to block it in as a flat, almost a flat um, wash or, or whatever you want to kind of call it. Um, just to give me the initial um, coverage. And I'm going to use this obviously to shape up anything that needs shaping up. So like the back of the boat there needs a bit more straightening. Um, I could come round there, that needs a bit of straightening coming down and then away. Bring it in there a little bit. Okay, so I'll just block all of this in. So I'm also going to go bring it into where the heads are. little figures just going around the heads going to have a little head there coming across to the cabin so the cabin is going to start there just coming down got another little head there try not to paint that off, turn it to chop her head off. She won't appreciate that. Um, then we got some more of the same bluey colour coming coming this way. Okay. So we'll get this in. And obviously, once we've finished all of this initial blocking, um, it's not uh, not supposed to. So, if you're thinking, "Oh, that's you know, that's it," it's not supposed to be the finished product. Um, it's it, it's it, its intention is to um, just establish all those larger masses of shape and color before we start to fiddle and. Um, try and define things a little bit more precisely oops just gone over my boat there that's not too good um there we go so we'll just get that in there <clears throat> and this is a little bit like painting you know a wall um so we'll need a little bit more of that mix made up Sorry, what was that mix again, Stuart? 
So the mix was um, the green that we used for the trees, which was the ivory, which was the black, the um, phthalo blue um, with the yellow in it. And then I've put mm -hmm. plenty of white in it, okay? Okay. Um, and possibly a little bit more of the phthalo blue than it's got black, okay? Because I don't want it yeah. too gray. I want it a bit more, a bit more on the blue side. Thank you. Okay. Right, so let's just quickly scrub this in and i'm not putting i'm purposely not putting white in this paint oh. so this is going down um pretty still pretty thick so it's not it's not a wash it's you know when i'm laying these marks can you see that the paint is not moving it just stays put so um it's it's not like watercolor this is this is just thicker paint okay so we'll get that blocked in. A little bit more of that colour. Slightly darker down this bottom right hand corner, but not, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to darken it all up in a minute. Just want to get it covered, lose the white. That's basically what I'm trying to do. That's the objective of this exercise for the moment, is just to try and lose all this white. Should have used a bigger brush. Let me use a bigger brush. A little bit more of that mix, more white, a little bit more green. There we go. So let's get this covered up. <clears throat> All the way to the bottom. A bit more white, a bit more blue, a bit more green. Get this in. So there's some angle which will come that way. I'm gonna have a little bucket or something on the front. I'm gonna have a leave a little bit of harbour on mine, or not harbour, but there's a bit of dock just down there. Okay, so there we go. So that's the blue now blocked in. And just to finish off the blocking, I'm going to put a little bit of colour into those buildings and the beach and then that's everything got some colour on it apart from my reflection which I just need to put some colour in as well. So let's quickly do a little bit of that. So I'm going to take some yellow ochre. Put some yellow ochre with a little bit of grey in it so it's not so yellow. Slightly less yellow than um, there we go, then it could be. So I'm just going to bring this across the beach line. Just through there and there's a bit coming in here. All the way across there and that's the only bit of sandy colour there. Okay. I'll give you a moment just to catch up on that bit and then we'll do the buildings. Just finishing the sky. What, what colours do you put for this water? 
but here we use the same green as up there so it's going to be the um the black and um solo blue or more yeah. solo blue than black obviously some yellow and um white okay thank you okay <clears throat> white being the predominant colour because it's quite a light colour. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of pink now. And I'm going to block in a very light pink for this little property back here. So there's like a little pinky little pinky house back in the distance. And I need some darker colours, so I'm going to use the same brown that I used in the pole here. And into that, I'm just going to put some more yellow and a little bit more red to make it a bricky, like a brick red. A little bit more red. Let's try that. So pop in this shape. This is just a little warm, a warm brown. Coming down there. Give it a little bit of a bottom. Maybe a little few touches here and there. Wish I had, wish I had a little bottom. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll give this one a roof. I think we'll make this roof brown rather than the dull black that it kind of is, or it's grey. So it needs to be sloped, obviously. Let's just bring that through there. And there's a little bit of a, like a chimney sticking up. I'm just going to use a little bit of a line there just to put the back of the house in. Right now, the rest of the buildings are kind of a bluey grey. So I'm going to, and they're about the same tone as the water, possibly a little bit, a teensy bit darker. So I'm just going to use the same mix that I use for the water and maybe just darken it up a teeny bit so a tiny bit more grey, tiny bit more blue <clears throat> okay. and then I can block in these buildings So these are just, again, just shapes like boxes and rectangles and um, not really worrying too much about like balconies or anything like that. Just want the, the rudimentary shapes in. Change hand. There's another little um, building there. And it cuts over the top of this one balcony through there okay all right i'll hold fire there then for a few minutes does anyone want me to come around and see how you're getting on <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no. You want to paint, want to paint <laughs> anonymity, do you? Okay, fair enough. I'll leave you to crack on. <laughs> yeah. 
it's a myth. No, it's not a myth. Interesting noise. Yeah. <laughs> I think That's um, Andy coming up the stairs. I think maybe. <laughs> you know, if it's you, if you click on the, if you click on the screen, there is a mute button. So if you do want to have a conversation offline and, and you don't want to be on the recording, then by all means mute it. <laughs> I'm sure there are all sorts of controls on the screen and I can't see any of them. Oh, so right. I just have to live with what I've got. Yeah. No that's worries, that's fine. Freaky spares, we haven't got our carpet. Oh really? And future the <laughs> lockdown. Yeah, we were just well, we have, we're going to order it the day of the lockdown and um right. didn't Ooh. happen, did it? No, no. That's a bit of a night. Is it a bit cold then? Is it, or is it? Have you got underlay down? No, we haven't got anything down. No, it's it's. Oh fine. blimey! Dusty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dusty. Yeah. No, no, it's it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's just creaky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had my washing machine break yesterday. Oh. All no. right. Washing machine's gone. Oh no. Yeah, you nightmare. can do that online. Oh. AO. AO. AO are really good getting washing machines. Okay. Right. Oh, I will do that. Um, I've mm. passed it off to my daughters. Oh, have you? <laughs> Don't go <get> too quick. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> More on the pink side than it is on the on the greeny brown side. Mm. Oh. Hello. Is that a dog? Is that a dog? <laughs> <That's laughs> Whose dog's that then? Making the sort of size. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Right. A bit more pink I think that needs. It's a little bit too dull. Let's go a bit pinker. There we go. So we'll get some of this blocked in. Comes back there a bit. Oh. Coming down, trying to keep roughly the the, um, the 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 shape of the boat. Okay, so some of that in there. A little bit more pink and touch of white for this right hand side. So again, there's a a swathe of pink coming this way now. Bearing in mind that this angle here needs to go uphill, okay? This angle is going slightly level or downhill, depending on how you've drawn it, but this one must go uphill, all right? Because it's a long way below our eye level. Mm. <laughs> oh, poor Wuffy. <laughs> I'm just going to break up. One every day today. Push him out. Puppy, come on. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right, there we go. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the original colour we've had in the water. Just to backfill. Oops, that's a bit too dull. Mm, a bit bluer. Just to backfill this, lose these white bits. Okay, just to get that um, reflection to sort of become part of the the watery area. I so can't get that the same colour, um, Stuart. Which which colour are you talking about? Sorry, Brownie the water. The, the one I'm painting now, or the or this one? No, the shadow reflection of the pink. Okay, so just take. Um, just take the um, 
uh, like some black and a bit of blue and make a gray up. Okay. And then once you've got a gray at about the right tone, then put some of the pink in it until it comes pink enough. Thank you. All right. Okay, so that's lost that. Now I need to lose my dock. So the dock is going to be a little bit slightly browner, I feel. So let's pop let's start again. this in. In here, and that's going to be like a little, I don't know, like some little bucket or blue thing in the foreground there. So I'll lose that. It's going to take exactly the same grey. Okay, so that's just a bit of that brownie colour we used in the buildings and so on into this bluey colour of the water to give me this, this brownie grey. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use this colour to lose some of these lighter white areas up here with some greys, um, which we can later on add more colour into. So this really is just to lose all these whites. A bit of that there some in the foreground here we've got things going on up there something there the gray um it's actually quite surprising how much gray there is in of various different colors or tones within the landscape so i'm going to use that same color in this window knock that down we'll use a little bit of that within the cabin behind our chap's head so the same color is going to come um, in the background here just some little dits and dots back here just for these boats and ancillary things we're not really entirely sure what they are but they're just like shapes of tone okay gonna lighten that very slightly and put some more white in it so the same color not changing the color it's just the same gray it's just um I'm now going to use that to fill in my little platform <clears throat> So he can go in, in there. <clears throat> right, okay, so let's have a look. What else do we need to lose? We need to lose that little bit of My little blue bucket in, there's a little blue bucket down here. Let's get him in. like a little shape there on the dock. Okay, it's also brushing. Now, into, into the boat area now. So um, I'm going to try and um, populate this window lose the white here lose some of these little whites as well so i'm going to take an even lighter gray now <laughs> so this gray slightly on the bluey side um and this window is going to come uh so it's about the same tone as the water so this window can go in quite light. That window can go in quite light. Uh, we can have a little bit of that on him. Lose that white there. Just 
lose a few of those bits. Perhaps the same colour up here. A little bit in the roof line. Um, we can have a little bit of that back here in the distance. So this sort of grey blue, just some little shapes, just to knock some of those whites down. Um, and then taking an even lighter version of that now, I'm going to pop in the front of my um, little roof line of the boat. So the tone now is getting pretty, pretty light. Too wonky. Let me have a look. Uh, it's a quirky boat. Um, I'm going to use that same colour to straighten up this edge. Oh, gone a bit far there. Never mind. Need to come back a bit there. A bit more white, even lighter again. I'm going to pop in the this plane of the <coughs> roof. Okay. Now I need um, some yellow. Put a tiny bit of white in the yellow. Pop in my little figure. Oh, gonna sneeze in. <laughs> a little bit of yellow there. Pop a bit of that yellow in the background here just in a few little places. A bit there. Clean the rush out. Now I'm going to mix up a darker version out of the of the ready colour that we used in the in the pink of the boat. So I'm going to take the same pink and into that, put a little bit of a brownie colour. So you can just use a bit of black um, to mix up into that pinky colour, just to dull it, so it becomes more of a shadow, a shadowy colour for the um, for the vessel. So I'll start to use this to block in a little bit of the, the shadows, slightly darker. So this side of the boat is pretty dark. We've got some very dark bits in in here. Gonna lose all of these actually, make them all dark. There we go. We've got some very dark bits in the window. So we can get a few of those in to indicate the inside of the cab. The nice darks around this, around this chap head. Perhaps the odd bit in there, under the window. Lose this down here, make this a bit darker. There. Um, we've got a bit of dark there, which kind of sticks out a little bit. There's like a railing that kind of comes along. And then up, get that in. We'll pop in some darks just through here, just to indicate. Is 
et 